At both of these connection points between the rubber hose and the steel tube, I've got at least two to two and a half inches uh, of overlap of the rubber hose on top of the steel tube. So to keep these uh, from blowing out under pressure, I'm just going to double clamp them. I mean, I, I don't have the tool that would make a flared end or a little uh, raised area uh, that you could put a band clamp around uh, like you have here on the radiator or over here on the, on, on the water neck. Um, they do make a tool. I don't have it, so, uh, so I can't use it. I'm not going to buy one. Uh, so I think just doubling up on the clamps at uh, both of these joints uh, should be sufficient to keep these uh, water tight even when the uh, coolant gets hot and it gets a little bit pressurized. So for anything that I build that's going to come into contact with any heat, I've pretty much always used, uh, I call this the barbecue black. Uh, it's this Rust-Oleum, it's the high heat, it says it's good up to 1200 degrees. I've never tested it up at 1200 degrees, but I've put this on headers, exhaust manifolds, full exhaust systems, and I've had it last for years without uh, flaking or peeling or anything like that. So. Uh, this isn't going to see near the temperature that an exhaust manifold will, but nonetheless, uh, it's going to see high temperature, so I'm using this paint.
So that's it for this little project. I haven't found any leaks, even at operating temperature. And I'm pretty sure that there's no air in the system. I gotta do this quick because it's hot, but this hose is still squishy. So when there's air in the system and it gets hot, this will balloon out and it'll be like a, an, inf an inflated tire. It'll be hard to pinch. So uh, I don't notice that anywhere on those rubber tubes. So I call this a, a success. So I appreciate y'all watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.